Charlie, the thing about JT Ginn goes the other way, just dumps it in front of the left fielder, and there's Brandon Pimentel over in left field today. But the first hit of the day for Wright State. To the right side, the first baseman Hatcher. Underhand toss, and that'll do it for the top of the first. Even though he's moving into that leadoff spot to be himself. Up the middle into center field. A good start for Rowdy Jordan in the leadoff spot. Bulldog 11 bases last year. Chop, slow roller, shortstop coming in. Dews on the move, makes the play, not in time. And now they got the runner hung up, but Jordan's going to scamper over to third. <laughs> Jordan looked like he was hung out for a moment. So nobody holding Jordan. Runner going, ground ball right to the shortstop who was playing on top of the second base bag. The run will come in to score, but Wright State positioning and guarding the middle gets that well-earned and needed double play. Back towards the pitcher. And now Josh Hatcher will bat, goes down, lifts it into center field. It's going to drop in front of Hamilton and a one-out single for State here in the second. Played at DeSoto Central High School. Ground ball off the glove of the third baseman Black. Going to roll into foul territory. And how about Cameron James, the younger brother? Of Ended up starting 30 games. Line to the left field. And it's going to skip in front of the outfielder, Anglin. Carry him off of him. And rounding third is Hatcher. He'll come in to score. Three singles here in the second inning. And Mississippi State has a 2-0 lead. Not in time. Almost the same ball, this one a little bit harder to the third baseman, throw to first, nice play by Tyler Black, and that'll do it. And the 2-2. Up the middle, and it's going to get into center field. And the second hit of the afternoon for Wright State. They got a one-out. And he missed down and in. Running start. Throw down, all the way down, is off the runner and coming to the plate. Here comes the throw, got to be close, he's gone. Westberg backing up on the throw down at second. Now that was an absolutely outstanding job by Westberg that time, maintaining composure. The ball got into the runner. And it pitches down and that's ball four. Back-to-back -back walks by JT Ginn here in the third. But Hamilton has a big lead down at second. And a balk on JT Ginn. And a run's going to come in to score. Home plate umpire Jeff Stretch. Lined in the center field, and it's going to drop in front and skip past Rowdy Jordan out in center field. The game is tied, and on his way to third is Tyler Black. So a triple after back-to-back -back walks. To the right side, knocked down by Hatcher. Ginn will beat the runner to the bag, and that'll end the inning. Ground ball up the middle, going to skip into center field. Well, really a difference in Mississippi State making it to the World Series. Left fielder ranging in, Pimentel, and that ball is going to drop. And runners will be at first and second. Pimentel. Lined in the right field. Another hit. Ball bobble, they'll stop the runner at third. Tanner Allen comes up throwing. Ripped in the right center field. That's going to split the outfielders. One run scores. Two runs score. Here comes the third. The throw from Foscue's not in time. And a three run double by Zane Harris. And Wright State has a 5 2 lead. Well, Zane Harris just hit the line drive right between 
Jordan Allen. And good speed on the bases. Wright State able to clear them. Harrison. Out to the shortstop, Westberg. And the throw is high, and it pulls Hatcher off the bat. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. And a strikeout of Alex Neff. Up the middle. Backhand play. The flip to second. In time for the out. What a play by. And to work his way aboard. And a leadoff walk in the fifth. Well, if you're Mississippi State, just looking to get some gas. Probably two, three well-hit balls apiece off the middle of the catcher. And a throw down to first is going to head to the bullpen. Westberg could run for a while. He rounds second. He heads over to third. And at third base. And they'll get the run home. That error is big, but an out now as Foscu rolls out to the second baseman. He gets credit with the RBI. Check the swing, but he went around. Cruiser gets the strike out of Pimentel, and that ends very late innings to try to warm up the bats here. Into left field. Back goes Anglin over his head, off the wall. Anglin played it well. It got, it got it back in in a hurry, but a one-out double for Josh Hatcher, just narrowly missing the first home run of the season. Into center field, Hamilton started back, now comes in, lost it in the sun. Lost it in the sun and runners at the corners. Started back, came in, and it was like, I have no idea where it is. Runner going, the pitch is high, that's ball four, and the bases are loaded for the top of the order. Through the right side. That'll score one. Ball bobble. We're tied. And over to third base goes Landon Jordan. And Rowdy Jordan ties the game at five with a two-run single. Now Rowdy pulled one down in the bullpen on the first pitch he saw and then went right back down that right side. And that is a big, big hit for Mississippi State. Yeah, the second baseman, McConnell, a step up the middle. And Rowdy Jordan drives in his first run. Popped him up. Second baseman, McConnell, ranging over into shallow right field, makes the catch. And bluffing down the line is Landon Jordan. And a big. And a fastball down and away and a four-pitch walk. Here we go. In the left field, could drop, going to drop. Base hit, state leads. Two runs will score. Foscue in the second base. And four runs home in the inning, and it's 7-5. Well, it looked like a smash on the scorecard. Wasn't hit that hard, but it was hit in the right place. Left fielder Anglin had trouble picking it up, and the Bulldogs able to play a couple and get their fourth run home here in the bottom of the sixth. Credit Fosk. Hot shot, nice play by the shortstop dudes. The throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. And two runs score, and it's nine to five. You've got the shortstop playing on the second base side, on the right field side of the second base bag, and Charlie, this is not a throw that he is used to at all. I think that is one of the least appreciated differences between shortstop and second base. It's the angle of that throw. It is a much different look. 
Off the end of the bat. Pitcher Hawk going to feel the throw to first in time to end the inning. Some good disciplined at bats. Nice backhand play by the shortstop dues. There's no way he throws out Jordan and Landon Jordan with his second hit today. He's been on base four times, Landon Jordan. Here's a 3-0. Outside ball four, and now runners at first and second with two outs. In a third. Into right field and ranging over to make the play is Greenwell to end the inning. Out. Who's going to be that day two starter? Swing and a miss at the fastball. Forrester gets the strikeout of England to start the eighth in that second pitch. That's the thing Forrester's got. He's got some confidence with that breaking ball. Backhand play by James. Long throw. What an arm. And that'll end the inning. Wow. Eight hits. The one two. Swing and a miss. Oh, good inning for the freshman. True freshman out on the mound. Inside, and it hits the batter, Piotto. Inside, ball four. So a hit batsman, and now a walk. Way inside. And now the bases are loaded. Shimper's got a pretty good curveball. Here's the one, two. Swing and a miss at a 90-mile-an-hour fastball for out number one. And now the 2-2. Pass the catcher back to the screen. The run will score from third as Piotto comes in with the sixth run of the day. Walked him. Pitch on 2 1. Hard hit ball at the second baseman. Foskew, the throw to first, and that'll do it. Oh my goodness. A line out double play puts the bow on this one, and Mississippi State wins the season opener 9 6 over Wright State.